Good morning. In today's session, we are supposed to study about the three-phase induction motor. This type of motor we are saying as a AC motor. In here, we are supposed to study about the three phase. There are two types of the induction motor, single phase and the three phase. If we are giving the supply, that will be the three phase. We can give that supply in two ways. We can give that supply in the delta connection or we can give that supply in the star connection. It is depending on us how we are giving that supply. So if we are giving three phase supply to the three phase induction motor, at that time we are supposed to give that supply to the three phase stator binding. So we have seen already we have seen the construction of three phase induction motor. It will consist of stator and rotor. In stator, there is a stator frame, there is a stator binding, there is a stator core. And we have seen we are using their rotor that will be as a main binding or we can say the armature binding. So here when we are giving the supply that will be the three phase at that time we can say we can give that supply by using the sequence for the phase if we are using the three phase at that time, we can call that as the RYB phase. Here you can see I have drawn the diagram. Okay, so you can see here when we are giving the three phase supply, we are giving that supply to the stator binding. This is the DC motor. So we are giving here supply to the winding. So what we are saying here, when we are supposed to give supply, that will be the three phase. So we are supposed to divide the 360, will be in a three phase. So we are taking here 120 degree phase. So here we can give that phase that will be by using the R, Y and B. R for red, Y for yellow and B for blue. At that time, we can give that supply by using the six phase R, Y. Here I am using the letters A, B, C, but if A is nothing but here we can use the red wire. Here you can use at the B yellow and at the C you can use B is nothing but the blue. It means when we are supposed to give three phase supply in the three phase induction motor at that time we can use the phase sequence that will be R, Y, B. A, B, C is actually in practical. What will be? Here you can give the sequence that will be R, Y. This sequence is very important. The question will come in the M sequence. Which sequence we are using? Because when we are giving the R, Y, B, at that time, that motor will rotate in the clockwise direction. And if you are interchanging the position of these three phases, which phases? The red, yellow, and blue. If you are changing these directions, what will happen? The motor will get reversed to rotate in the direction. If it is rotating in the clockwise, if you are changing the phase, R, Y, B, if you are changing the phase, instead of Y, in middle, you are taking the first. If you are taking the Y, R, B. If you are interchanging any two phases between these three phases, what will happen? the direction of that three phase induction motor will get reversed. If it is going in the clockwise, now it will become in the anti-clockwise direction. So here we are supposed to take RYB sickness sequence when we are supposed to rotate your motor. Okay, so here. What we are saying here, when we are giving the supply that we can give to the stator binding. And here we are taking three phases and the magnitude of the voltage in each phase will be equal. So we are having total 360 degrees. We are having three phases. We are taking here A, B, C, but practically these are nothing but R, Y and B. And what we are saying? When we are supposed to use three phase supply at that time, we will require all these magnitude of these voltages should be in equal. So 360 divided by 3, you will get 120 degree for each. So you can give their voltage for each phase that will be 120 degree. And if you see the two adjacent phases, the two adjacent phases like R and Y, if you see Y and B, that will have the voltage, that will have the phase difference between 
these two adjacent between these two that will be 120 degree so here we can say we are feeding the three phase supply by using the r by b phase sequence in which we are giving all these three phases the equal magnitude of voltage that will be the one phase sequence. and if you see the two adjacent phases that will have the phase angle of voltage between two adjacent phases that will be the one phase sequence. so here if if we are deriving the value of current for r it means what that a if you are deriving you can write the equation how you can write you can write if you are writing the equation for current for that red phase a phase you can write i a or i r equal to maximum current i m into cos omega t but what we are saying we are saying all are having the same magnitude of voltage but if you see we are using the three phase and adjacent two are having the 120 degree phase difference so if you are writing the equation for ia as okay if you are writing the equations for ia as just wait for repeat it yeah So here, if you are writing the equation for the current flowing through this A phase, I A equal to maximum current I M into cos omega t. You are saying there will be the 120 degree 120 degree phase difference between B and A. Please mute yourself for because this concept is not that much easy. What we are saying because you are supposed to write theory also with this diagram when we are supposed to under. Uh, there will be the question on explain the working of three phase induction motor at that time you are supposed to write how you are giving the phase supply and how this phases will related with this one that's why i'm saying okay so what we are saying if we are writing the equation for the current flowing through this phase a i a equal to i r because this is the red phase this is the y phase and this is the b phase because we are using r y b so if you are writing equation i a equal to i r equal to i m into cos omega you are saying there will be the 120 degree phase difference between b and a so your equation for current flowing through b will become i b equal to i m cos omega t in bracket omega t minus 120 because there is phase difference between these two that will be the one phase now you are supposed to write for c you are written for the first a that will be 240 degree phase difference between these two because in ad b and c in these two adjacent there is a phase difference 120 degree in between these two there is 120 phase difference so between a and c between r and b there will be the phase difference of 240 degree. so for c you can write the equations i c equal to i b equal to I am into cos omega t minus 240 degree. So you will get here if you are using the phase sequence R, Y, B for three phase supply, which we are giving to the three phase winding. At that time, if you are considering I am is the maximum value of phase current. At that time, you will get phase current that will be balanced. And they will have the RMS value. You have here. Okay. If you are considering here C phase, you are taking here sequence R, Y, B, and you are considering I M is the maximum value of the phase current. At that time, if you are considering all are having balanced current, at that time you can take RMS value of I R, I Y. I B. It means what I A, I B, and I C. If you are using here A B C letter instead of R Y B, you can balance this value like if you are taking the R M S value for all these equal means I R equal to I Y equal to I B, or you can take I A equal to I B equal to I C. It means what 
when we are giving the prefix supply to the prefix stator binding of prefix induction motor at that time there is a phase difference of 120 degree between two adjacent phases that's why if you are saying so what we are saying here if we are giving that supply by using our if you are taking a b c you can take a, a b c here a a ka auxiliary part that you can take as a2 or you can take a1 gas b1 ka auxiliary part the second part the second side you can take as b2 or b1 gas if you are taking here y you can take y gas as per your wish but what we are doing here we are using the three phase how if you see a1 b1 and c1 this will look like a start because we are connecting one point commonly and we are directly connecting a here we are connecting b if you see here we are giving the three phase supply how we are giving we are giving the three phase supply by using this a1 b1 and this c1 we are giving to the stator winding i have shown here only the front view that's why you are able to see only the phase a a and a2 dash like this we are giving b1 b2 dash we are connecting c1 and c2 also so we are connecting the three phase at that time what will happen your magnetic field will rotate so there will be the question explain the production of rotating magnetic field in the three phase induction motor at that time you are supposed to draw this diagram you are supposed to explain how we are giving the supply how we are taking that three phase and these are in equal magnitude at that time if you see here when we are taking the equations for the current for the ia ib and ic we are saying we can take equal value for the rms value of the current for ia ib and ic at that time when we are giving the three phase supply we have seen two adjacent phases are in 120 degree phase difference with each other if you see here a and b there will be the 120 degree phase difference and b and c there will be the 120 phase difference so when you are connecting like this that motor will rotate in the clockwise you can see here first he, it is here after that it is rotating like this again it will go to the upward again it will go the same direction again it will go here again it will go here again here and again here you are uh, just understand what we are taking here we are considering three phase induction motor that's why we are supposed to consider three phase that's why we are taking here three phase a ka other side we are taking a2 b ka other side b2 c ka other side c2 how you are right you can't write yahan pe tum a1 hai yahan pe tum b2 yahan pe c2 you can't give you are supposed to take 120 phase difference between a1 b1 b1 and c1 so firstly you can draw this a1 after that b1 after that c1 after a1 se perpendicular exactly 180 degree a2 b1 se exactly 180 degree b2 c1 se exactly 180 degree c2 only you are supposed to understand one diagram you will get this side how because when we are giving r y b phase difference it means a b c at that time it will rotate what will rotate the magnetic field how it will rotate if you see here we are giving here three phase and there will be the 120 degree phase difference between two adjacent between two adjacent so here if you see when you will get here if you are taking you can consider from any direction sir you can consider from this direction you can consider this but when you are taking this rotating magnetic field firstly when you are using the ryb or abc sequence at that time you are supposed to give a1 as n b1 as n and c1 as n and the next pole will become yes because there is a concept of winding so there is a concept of magnetic field so when you will get the magnetic field if that field is behaving as a magnet how it will behaving as a magnet if you are taking the two poles that will be the north and south so you are supposed to consider here n 
and you are supposed to consider here yes like this if you are considering for three these directions so there will be when you will get the second second will con second will consider when b1 phase will move there will be the 120 phase difference ye diagram baad mein draw karu the niche wala the following diagrams you can draw later firstly concentrate on this above diagram so here when you are drawing the first diagram the for a after that what we are saying we are saying b phase is starting after the 120 degree phase difference after that c is starting again there will be the 120 phase difference between b and c and if you are taking from the a there will be the 240 phase difference so here when you are drawing the diagram for the rotating magnetic field for the phase b for the phase b at that time you are supposed to draw dc motor as it is you are supposed to draw dc motor as it is only what will be the difference ye yaha pe tha arrow there will be the 120 degree difference if it is here if you are taking downward it will become 90 again you are supposed to take 30 that's why we can take that arrow like this again what we are saying again after that you are supposed to consider about c phase so you will get here c phase will be 120 degree phase difference with this this b so you will get again 120 so it will go up again you can repeat first second third first second third again you can get the first like this you will get how your rotating magnetic field will rotate because when we are giving the three phase supply at that time two adjacent phases are having the 120 degree phase difference so here your magnetic field will rotate in the clockwise direction and if you are supposed to change the direction how you can change you can change the direction of the power supply if you are giving the r y b phase difference phase sequence for the clockwise and if you are supposed to change the direction at that time you can change that direction by changing the sequence ye a b c ki jagah you can do a c b or you can take b c a you are supposed to only change the sequence at that time your rotating magnetic field will change the direction of rotation so here we are saying we are changing the directions of rotating magnetic field by only changing the phase direction so here when we are saying our magnetic field is rotating at that time if that magnetic field is rotating in the clockwise direction at that time you can change the direction how by changing the direction of the power supply so here if you see working principle of the induction motor when you are using the three phase supply you are giving to the stator winding at that time there will be the formation of pole because there is a magnetic field so there will be the north pole and there will be the south pole so you will give three phase supply to the stator rotating magnetic field stator will not rotate but the magnetic field which is produced in the stator and rotor it will start to rotate magnetic field will rotate and rotor part also will rotate rotor part means what the main body or we can say the armature body so when you are giving the three phase supply to the induction motor at that time the magnetic field of the stator will rotate also that rotor part which will connected with this stator will also rotate which will form two pole these are nothing but the north and south pole so here when that part will rotate you are not getting the picture ha you can see here if what we are saying here when we are giving the three phase supply at that time there is a concept of magnetic field because here we are using the stator and the rotor in the induction motor and when we will give the power supply at that time conductor will cut by the magnetic field that's why there will be the production of magnetic fluxes according to the faraday's law so here that stator will not rotate but it is forming the two poles north and the south and here it is generating the magnetic field so that magnetic field will rotate i have shown here the direction 
if it is moving in the clockwise direction. And we have seen we can derive the direction according to the Fleming right hand rule. We can derive the direction for the EMF in this EMF. So here, if you are saying magnetic field is moving to the upward direction, when we have studied about the working principle of DC machine at that time, we have seen if we are supposed to change the direction, how we can change? We, we can change the direction of V1 supply. It means what the power supply is giving us, we direction hum change kar sakte hai. Either we can do this or we can change the direction of this magnetic field. So here also the same concept. When we are giving three phase supply, the three, three phases we are giving, we are using RYB phase, phase sequence in which two adjacent phases are having 120 degree phase difference. So if we are saying the two pole stator is considered as the angle between the two adjacent. So here if we are considering these two A and B are adjacent. So we can say the angle between those two which is having the 120 degree phase difference. So if you are calculating about the force because we have seen the torque equation in the DC motor like here. Torque equation DC motor me kya mila tha equation? You will get torque equal to F into R into sin theta. How you will get? When you are saying your DC motor, then we will give the power supply. Now I am explaining about the DC motor, which we have studied in our third unit. What we are saying? When we are giving the power supply to the DC motor, torque is nothing but it is the quantitative measurement of force and the radius. Radius is nothing but the perpendicular distance. When your magnetic field will rotate. So you can take mathematically torque equal to F into R into sin theta. Or you have seen you can take mechanical power PM equal to EB into IA back EMF into armature current. Or you can take mechanical power in the form of torque and angular velocity. Tau into W when you will get the DC motor at that time only you will get the working for the induction motor because all these things are the same concept only there we were using the single phase but in our syllabus for three phase induction motor we are supposed to study about the three phase supply there is additional part here we are giving the three phase supply we are phase de rahe the, three phase de rahe. So, we equation mil raha tha, course ka, ek equation mil raha tha, pe, but here you will get three equations for A, for B and for C. If you are taking the current equation for A, IA equal to IM into cos omega T. In that way, if you are considering two pole stator is considered with angle between adjacent phases, these are 120 degrees. Because you are considering in A and B, there is a 120 degree phase difference. So you can take their EMF. R. If you are considering FR, this is nothing but FA. You can take maximum force Fm into cos omega t. You can take for B, Fm into cos omega t minus 120. For C, you can take cos Fm into cos omega t minus 240 degree. In that way, you will get the resultant MMF for all these. Because we are saying these all are oriented in the same space along the magnetic axis. But they are having the 120 phase difference between the adjacent. So here you will get all the equation. But what we are saying, when we are calculating the value of force, you can take omega equal to what you can take you can take omega equal to 2 pi s like we have seen in the dc motor omega is nothing but the angular speed it will relate it with the rotating magnetic field omega is angular speed you will get omega equal to 2 pi n n is nothing but small n rotation per second so you can take here omega 120 degree upon 3 because here we are taking the three phase there we are supposed to take directly we were taking omega equal to 2 pi upon d or you are taking 2 pi n but here here you are 
taking the three phase so here you are supposed to take omega equal to 2 pi upon 3 into 120 degree into n 2 pi n into 120 degree upon 3 you can take for the three phase induction motor so you will get here equations for the omega that is nothing but 2 pi upon 3t into 120 degree if you are writing in the term of time you can write so here what we are saying when we are giving the three phase supply to the three phase induction motor at that time you can see here when we are giving the input at that time if your magnetic field is rotated like this and your magnetic field is having the direction in the upward direction at that time you will get here induced current that will be inducing because of that rotating magnetic field and it will move in the rotor conductor so here when that conductor will cut by this magnetic field there is a generation of the magnetic flux around this induced current so you can see here around this you will get the flux due to the induced rotor current according to the faraday's law you are supposed to draw diagram step by step firstly we are giving here supply three phase supply at that time there is an introduction of magnetic field which will move upward direction at that time magnetic that conductor will cut back that magnetic flux magnetic field that's why there is a generation of magnetic flux so that flux will introduce just because of rotor current so here there is an addition of higher fluxes and due to which there will be the cancellation of two fluxes across y and z and there will be the addition of fluxes at the r phase so you will get here magnetic mechanical force so we can say when we are giving the three phase supply to the three phase induction motor at that time if we are using the sequence for the current like r y b my voice is not coming clearly no it's okay, okay ma'am आ रहा है या नहीं आ रहा है देवेंद्र आ रहा है आ रहा है मैम आ रहा है ओके हेलो हाउ यू गाइस आर डूइंग द लेक्चर्स आई डिडंट गेट इट बिकॉज़ देयर इज लॉट्स ऑफ वॉइस ओके हां सो यू कैन वेरी वेल सर आई एम जस्ट फोकस ऑन इट what we are doing here we are supposed to study about the working principle of the induction motor when we are studying about the induction motor in our syllabus only we are supposed to study about the three phase we are using three phase by using the r y and b phase sequence so here when we are giving the phase sequence of the current that is r y b resultant mmm that is nothing but we will get that force that will be move from the axis of leading phase to that of lagging phase it means what here you can see it will move from it will move from leading to the lagging phase it will add that fluxes higher fluxes in that area so you will get this production of rotating magnetic field this production of the rotating magnetic field also we can draw by using the three phases devendra is writing he is not getting my voice but remaining students are saying they are able to hear so there will be network issue ha aapke wahan network issue rahega okay so here what we are saying when we are giving the r y b phase sequence phase sequence at that time there resultant 
MMF will increase and it will go from leading phase to the lagging phase. So here we will get the production of rotating magnetic field. And here, if you see when we are using the RYB phase sequence, that will be in the sinusoidal wave because here we are taking the three wave, three phase. Here we are using the three phase, which we are taking in the sinusoidal. So here that rotating magnetic field will also rotate. How it will be rotate? It will be rotate in the. It will be rotate in the leading phase to the lagging phase. So when we are supposed to study about the three phase induction motor, there is a new concept like. You are supposed to study about some parameters, like you are supposed to study about the slip. You are supposed to study about the torque equation. So here you can call slip. You can denote by letter small f. If you are saying torque is nothing but it is the torque which is produced when motor will start. When motor will start, it will be the quantitative measurement. That we can take as F into R into sine theta. We have seen this thing. So what we are saying when we are starting the motor at the start, there will be no speed because motor will not rotate. Because what we are saying about the three phase induction motor, we are saying three phase induction motor will work as a self starting. There is a no need of any other starting device. This is the main concept here because. Of that reason, we are saying three-phase induction motor, which will work as a self-starting. So here, at the start, there will be no speed. At start, we can take speed equal to zero. So if you are taking speed equal to zero, what we are saying about the speed? You can take speed that will be equal to n s minus n upon n s. You can call this as a speed. And S is nothing but it is the speed which you can take that speed revolutions per minute. And if you are taking small N S, you can call that as a speed which we are taking in the revolutions per second. And you can take N is nothing but if you are saying this is the speed if you are saying if you are giving the three phase supply to the three phase induction motor. But at start, your speed is zero, so you will get their maximum s. If you are writing s equal to n s minus n upon n s, you can call this as the slip parameter which we are supposed to use in the three phase induction motor. At that time, at that time. You will get s equal to n s minus n s upon n s. If we are supposed to calculate percent, how will you do? You can multiply both the sides by the hundred. You will get. So you can reconvert that equation to derive the value for the n. If you are rearranging, you convert. You will get the equation n equal to n s one minus n. I have written the same equation, but only we are interchanging the position. So we are saying if we are Not giving any supply, or we are giving any supply. At start, what we are saying, there will be no speed because we are not giving any external power supply. Three-phase induction motor will work as a self-starting machine. So here you will get speed value zero. That's why if you are taking here n equal to zero, n equal to zero, you will get s equal to n s upon n s. You will get s equal to one. So you can say you will get s equal to maximum slip equal to maximum at start. But if if you are saying s equal to zero, you will get maximum speed because you will get n equal to n s. And if you see practically, it is not possible because when we are using the three phase induction motor at that time, as we are not giving any external supply, its n will be zero at start. So you will not get practically s equal to zero. So you will get s equal to max value that will be one. So here we are saying when we are supposed to study about the three phase induction motor at that time you will get the equation for torque also in in DC motor. We have seen about the torque equation. How you can write? 
star equal to you can write f into r into psi or another how you can write you can write pm equal to ea tbia back emf into armature per or you can write pm equal to tor into w w means angular velocity you can write w equal to 2 pi so if you are taking one constant term at a k but there we are having the k equal to 1 upon 2 pi but here we are using the three field so hamara w ka equation kya tha yahan pe 2 pi upon 3 Two pi n upon three into one twenty. So you are supposed to take here k equal to three upon two pi n s. So you will get here tor equation. There will be no question. Derive the tor equation for the three field. There will be question on some numericals, or there will be the question which will be short answer. So there is no requirement to derive. But in DC motor, you are supposed to derive tor equation. So you will suppose. Right, hold that step. But here you can directly write this torque equation. How we are writing here? We are writing torque equal to constant term k into e square. This is nothing but EMF, the induced EMF into R two upon R two square plus S x two whole square and whole square root. I have given here which term we are calling this. S is nothing but the slip, and S is nothing but it is the Speed which we are measuring in the second synchronous speed of the motor. We are measuring that speed in the second. We will see torque equation again in the next section. Just see here. Uh, just uh, get some short idea. So what we are saying here because we are having only two minutes. So here we are saying R two is the rotor resistance. X two is the rotor reactor. X two is the reactor and R two is the resistance. So you will get the torque equation that will be equal to. K S E two square R two upon under root R two square plus S X two square. So here we are saying the value of rotor speed. The value of rotor speed will depend on will depend on the slip because here if you see here you will get the slip value maximum because we are. Saying at the start, you will not get any speed. You will get speed equal to zero for the rotor. Remaining syllabus we will see in the next session. I am taking your attention. If anyone is facing any issue, you can ask me. We are having one minute. Okay, you guys can leave now. Thank you.